Okay, mic check, sync with one, two, three, clap. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Sinbad683, back on my one and only bike, Charlie. Yep, let's get this uh, vlog rolling and see where I end up chatting about. Yeah. Anyways, I'm back. Uh, I've been back for a week now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I was actually away for about an entire month. I was in Manila. Because, you know, life happens and people need to get their stuff together and figure out what's gonna, what they're going to do with their lives. Especially me and my family. So, anyways, I'm back in Jensan. Uh, I was in Manila. I had a chance to, you know go to a bunch of uh, bike shops over there because I'm actually looking into upgrading in the future hopefully before the end of the year um, I'm looking into the you know Vulcan S the Z650 uh, and even the Ninja 650 so and besides I always wanted a bigger bike and uh, yeah, I gotta sell this one by the end of the year. Uh, use some of that money to uh, to pay for the newer bike. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, so I was yeah in Manila. I managed to uh, I I ended I ended up going to History Convention uh, where Gaki Moto is at. Yep. Shout out to Miss Gaki Moto. I <laughs> I actually met her twice. I went to the history convention twice actually uh, on the first and second day because uh, I knew there were gonna be um, uh, displays of like you know nice motorcycles and stuff uh, but yeah on that first day I found out they were offering test rides so on the first day I managed to Test ride the uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan. It's a 400cc uh, adventure bike that Royal Enfield is uh, offering. Yeah, it was fun, but uh, you know, since I'm pretty much a beginner, uh, I found the course a little too scary, and I wasn't really being coached by the guys over there because uh, it, it was an obstacle course, man. You probably some of you who watch uh, other Filipino moto vloggers who actually went to the convention. You probably see the uh, the course that they laid out. You know, you had to go through rocks, you had to go over ramps. Yeah, it was fun, but uh, yeah, I nearly dropped the bike at one point, <laughs> and I felt its weight on my left leg. Yeah. Nearly had to cramp also. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Anyways, I went there twice because they were also offering a Harley Davidson test ride for the the 750 series, you know, the Street 750 and the uh, Harley Street Rod. Uh, I only wanted to test ride the uh, the Harley Street Rod because I knew. The, the sitting position of that bike is similar to the Vulcan S. You know, they're actually competing with each other, actually. I didn't get to test ride the Harley Street Rod because, uh, you know, it, to me it was another sport bike that was being offered by Harley. And besides, you know, you won't, you, in the Philippines you rarely get to see any test rides so, uh, thankfully enough, I managed to uh, uh, bring my helmet from Jensan to Manila. Uh, I brought my helmet over and I test rode the, uh, 
the Harley Street 750. And yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I'll get a I managed to videotape that. Get that on video. Harley Davidson Street 750. And I'll upload that real soon. Uh, share my initial thoughts and impressions of the bike itself. Uh, but I'm now, I'm by no means a professional when it comes to, you know, reviewing bikes because I'm, um, when it comes to manual transition bikes, I'm um, still somewhat of a beginner. Even though I've logged in more than 12,500 kilos, kilometers on this uh, motorcycle. Yeah, and these traffic conditions that you see over here on the highway. Yeah, so you know, I managed to get to see Gakimoto. I met her. You know, I actually forgot to actually uh, take pictures or video tape her booth because you know we were just chit chatting, saying hi, hello, and I was like looking at her uh, booth and the other bikes that was uh, at History Convention, and I was there with my cousin at that time, so it was cool, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll probably meet again sometime in the future. We'll probably have another uh, uh, Philippines uh, motor vloggers meetup. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm motor vlogging on the highway has uh, changed the scenery because it's a little trafficy in the city at this time, and I just want to get some uh, highway run because I'm actually feeling a little sore today because I started hitting the gym again yesterday believe it or not and being 34 years old and hitting the gym after not having been able to work out at all for for more than a year yeah i'm sore like i feel like i got beat up it's a little bike ride would uh help ease the soreness i suppose yeah if you feel good, you know, it's all good, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, my life is a little uh, complicated right now. I won't be uploading as much. I'll be flying back and forth the zone in Mindanao every month. And uh, probably you haven't you have noticed I've you know haven't I've slowed down on my uploads because. Uh, I can't really sit down and uh, and uh, edit some videos. I actually got to edit a few more videos, which are non-motorcycle related. And I, yeah, I just got to have to sit down and uh, do all that. Anyways, that's a little update on me right now. Uh, I'll be riding out with my group this uh, weekend and I'll probably make a video of that too, most likely. Because uh, they're my biggest fans. <laughs> my motorcycle group. Yeah. Anyways, uh, shout out once again to Miss Gaki Moto. Uh, it was nice meeting you and seeing you. And yeah, thanks for featuring me in one of your latest videos. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Sinbad out.